Yo, what's going on guys, it's VelocityYT here, welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about Just Destiny and how he lied on his drama alert interview. But, uh, before we get into it... Okay mate, let's give it a try. Guys, today we are talking about Just Destiny and how he lied on his drama alert interview. <laughs> But anyway, let's get into how Just Destiny lied on his Drama Alert interview. So, Just Destiny is a channel with 1.7 million subscribers on YouTube. He is a commentary channel. He makes fun of other YouTubers and people like that. But he made a video about two weeks ago about these girls who were underage and didn't dress properly. But the main thing is, he put these girls in his thumbnail. But then this smaller commentary channel, with about 5,000 subscribers, made a video on him, and saying he was possibly a pedophile. But, and this is important, wasn't 100% calling him a pedophile. And this video is up for two weeks, until Just Destiny finally saw it, and decided to copy his strike! his video. Here's a clip of Just Destiny explaining this. So he made this video, I believe, two weeks ago, sometime in late January. And one of my friends from Twitter sent me the video and I saw it. I watched through the entire 17 minute video and like I was baffled that, you know, <laughs> someone could try to accuse me or try to insinuate that I'm some type of pedo exploiting children in a deviant way. Welcome to the internet, mate. I guess based on what he saw, he speculated, he pulled it from my channel, he speculated that I must be obsessed with kids because of the videos that he saw on my channel so, itself. So you didn't like his video and you filed mm -hmm. a copyright claim against it? No, um, it was, it's not that simple. Oh, was it not that simple? Please go on. What happened was the video stayed up for over a week, I, I believe close to two weeks, um, it garnered thousands of views. But what happened was, as soon as that video was made, people started coming to my Twitter account and calling me a nonce. But didn't you say that you never heard of this video? The only time you heard about it was when your friends sent you it. So, if this was going on for two weeks and people were sending you hate, how come you never saw the video for so long? How come you didn't take it down for so long? Hmm. Basically what you're saying in your videos, you are saying, you know, these kids shouldn't be dressing like this, being like 11 years old or whatever. Exactly, and I would bring other points into these videos, but he didn't include that in his video. But was it, was it Lieutenant uh, Cobra's mm -hmm. point was that you are mm -hmm. using this stuff, you are using these young kids in your thumbnail, and as a subject matter, no, knowing you would get a lot of views, like you were using these kids for clickbait. First of all, if that was his point, then it makes no sense because, for one, inherently YouTube YouTube videos or the thumbnails itself, they're clickbaity in general. Like you want audiences or viewers to click on your uh, your videos. That's not the point Keemstar was trying to make though. Why are you putting underage girls in your thumbnail? It may relate to the video and it may be clickbait. But they're underage, and you must have known while making that thumbnail, that's going to attract some weird people. So and you didn't sexualize these children. So you didn't like the opinion mm -hmm. that the 15-year-old YouTuber known as Lieutenant Cobra had about you. So you filed a copyright claim against it to take down his video. Um. Okay. So what happened was, the video was made. You know, his fans or viewers came to my Twitter, started harassing me, calling me a pedo, and all that stuff. Yeah. This eventually started spreading throughout the commentary community. Other people started picking up on this, and at the time, I didn't address this. One thing I gotta clarify is that it's my fault for not addressing this, and essentially hiding. Well, of course the commentary community are gonna bring it up. You put underage girls in your thumbnail. It's critiquing you. They're criticizing you. Something you do, but it seems like you can't take it. You had to silence him with a copy strike. Was the fact that he was parading around acting as if these were actual facts. 
acting as if his speculation were well. What if that's his? Truth. What if that's his opinion? What if he really thinks that about you? Okay, sure. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. So why did you silence his? But the way he he created a mob of people coming at me without any proof whatsoever of his accusations. You know, people were trying to label this as criticism, but it's not criticism. This is slander. I actually went into uh, I did the due diligence to research this all last night and I check mark after check mark, you know, this you know, you calling someone fat and ugly, right? That's criticism. And saying that your shoes don't go with your outfit and it looks ugly, that's criticism, you know. Well, that's your I, opinion. I I watched this full video. Basically what he said is mm -hmm. based on your thumbnails, all right? Yeah. He's wondering if you're a nunce. He's wondering if you're a pedo like based on this content. So, I mean, is he saying you're a hundred percent proven uh, a pedo, a hundred percent proven a nonce? No, he's not. He didn't. He never said that. Thank you, Mr. Keemstar. He never claimed you was a hundred percent a pedo, so it can't be classed as slander. It isn't slander. He is saying you could possibly be a pedophile because you used underage girls in your thumbnail. And you've done weird TikTok videos with underage people as well. I can't believe you can't see what's wrong with using underage girls in your thumbnails. You filed mm -hmm. a copyright claim on his video. Well, talk about that. Why? Why did you do that? Um, for harassment, for slander. Okay, but you can't you can't file him, you can't file a copyright claim against somebody. I, for harassment or slander. You have to only file a copyright claim if you believe that you own that content. Do, do you own the content that, that Lieutenant Corbett uh, uploaded to his channel? See, this is, this is a very nuanced situation. I obviously do not own the entire 17 minutes of the, um, the video. One, this shows that this was complete abuse of the copyright system here on YouTube. And that's it. Video done. Like, he's just said it. He doesn't own the whole 17 minutes of the video. He shouldn't have copyright striked it. But anyway, that's all I'm going to say for this video. It's got a bit long now. I don't want it to be 10 minutes. But if you want to see a part two to this video, because I still have some more things to talk about, please leave a comment down below. If you would like this video, please leave a like. Um... If you want to see more content like this, subscribe, make sure you have bell notice on so that you never miss an upload. Also, make sure not to press it twice, otherwise you only receive occasional notifications. And I will see all of you in the next video.